to rejoice in coming. Open your hearts to the Lord. Today will be a joyful day. And to rejoice in coming. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Today will be a joyful day. Sing hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In this holy sacrifice of the Mass, we lift to God, and we offer to God all our personal intentions, and all those intentions offered here by the pilgrims and devotees of Signor Santo Nino. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, that we who have celebrated the Paschal festivities may by your gift hold fast to them in the way that we live our lives. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When he entered Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with a soldier who was guarding him. Three days later, he called together the leaders of the Jews. When they had gathered, he said to them, My brothers, although I had done nothing against our people or our ancestral customs, I was handed over to the Romans as a prisoner from Jerusalem. After trying my case, the Romans wanted to release me because they found nothing against me deserving the death penalty. But when the Jew objected, I was obliged to appeal to Caesar, even though I had no accusation to make against my own nation. This is the reason then I have requested to see you and to speak with you, for it is on account of the hope of Israel that I wear these chains. 
He remained for two full years in his lodging. He received all who came to him, and with complete assurance and without hindrance, he proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The just will gaze on your face, O of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Peter turned and saw the disciple following whom Jesus loved, the one who had also reclined upon his chest during the supper and had said, Master, who is the one who will betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? And Jesus said to him, What if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? You follow me. So the word spread among the brothers the disciple would not die. But Jesus had not told him that he would not die. Just, what if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? It is this disciple who testifies to these things and has written them. And we know that this testimony is true. There are also many other things that Jesus did. But if these were to be described individually, I do not think the whole world would contain the books that would be written. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless My dear brothers and sisters, we are 
what we have just heard from our gospel is actually from the last part, the last verses of the gospel of John. There we have said at the beginning an introduction of the gospel, a reading for the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to John. And what could be the message here in our gospel? Let us then first talk and ask my brothers and sisters, did Peter had doubts on the closeness of John to Jesus? That in the sequence of the dialogue, Peter have thought that John would be the one to, to betray Jesus. If you come to think of it, we are able to see the humanity of, of Peter. That somehow John's intention was questioned. Especially when he was seated just beside Jesus. John did not only sit beside Jesus, but he also reclined or leaned his hand at the shoulder of Jesus. And in other occasions, events, in the Gospels, my dear brothers and sisters, John was described as the beloved. And even if John was somehow questioned and accused, my dear brothers and sisters, nothing less by Peter, Jesus defended him. Jesus said something about John. And he said, If it is my will that he remain until I come, what is it that to you? Why do you care if I want John to remain? And these words signify, my dear brothers and sisters, that the John would not die like of all the other martyrs. I mean, of all other disciples. Because of all the disciples of, John, of Jesus, my dear brothers and sisters, only John died of old age. You see? And the rest were martyred. James, the brother of John here, died, was the first one to die. They died in the worst things for being a follower of Christ. But how come John only died of old age? Was Jesus unfair? Was Jesus really, I mean, was John really the favorite disciple of Jesus? What could then be the message here, my dear brothers and sisters? We can find similar things to the accusation of Peter to John in our workplaces and in our homes. Labi na kung usaka ka empleyado, no? Maayo kang umuduol ka sa imuhang amo, no? People will question your intention. Ubisan pa sulod sa pamilya makaigsuunan. Makaingon nita ang mauma na ang paborito nga anak ni mama. Mauma na ang paborito nga anak ni papa. Ikaw, within your family, my dear brothers and sisters, are you the favorite child? Are you the eldest child? Because in our gospel, my dear brothers and sisters, and the relationship among the disciples they were like a family. Jesus was their father. And the disciples were there. Was his children. Was his sons. Peter was like the eldest son. Who was entrusted the key to heaven. Judas was like the black sheep in the family. Because he betrayed Jesus. 
in John or James was like the ambitious son who wished to be seated right at the right side of Jesus. And here right now, John was the favorite child because he was called the beloved. If we come to think of it, my dear brothers and sisters, if we have doubts and we have prejudices, we will question how Jesus treated his disciples. Jesus was unfair. But if we, uh, and if we reflect totally of what was happening in the entire life of Jesus, Jesus was not unfair. <laughs> he loved all his disciples. He loved Judas, even if it was he who betrayed him. Jesus saw, treated them, may not be fairly in our eyes, not fairly in our eyes, but Jesus treated them according to their need, according to their capacity. Because they saw, he saw Peter that he has the potential to become a leader. And that's why he chose him to be the leader of the apostles. And here, Jesus treats treatment, Jesus' treatment to John. He said, I chose him to remain in me because there was a purpose of why he would die of old age. And what is that purpose, my dear brothers and sisters? That he would be the one to write the Gospel of John, the, lit, let, the three letters of John, and then the book of Revelation. That was the purpose of why John died of old age. Because the writer and the author of our gospel for today is the beloved disciple of Jesus, John the Apostle. And let us then reflect, my dear brothers and sisters, and how and ask ourselves how sometimes we are consumed by our prejudices on how our parents treat us. And lastly, my dear brothers and sisters, or shall we say, Jesus did not only defend John, but also blessed him. Higitagaan siya taas na kinabuhi. And in the second part of our gospel that we should also take into consideration and reflect about it is about when John said, not everything was written in this gospel. Kung isulat ko no ang tibok kinabuhi ni Jesus, dili masulat o gusto ka libro. And that's why this is the importance of oral tradition. In order to continue and to spread the gospel of Christ to all the world. We in the Catholic Church does not only believe that everything that has been told, or shall we say, the Bible is the authority. No, we do not only believe on that, but we also believe in the traditions, the unwritten traditions. My dear brothers and sisters, as Christians, we do not only believe in the Bible alone, but we also believe on the testimonies, on the witnesses of so many disciples, of so many first Christians who saw how their lives were changed because of Christ. And believing upon the words today of John, my dear brothers and sisters, if it is only Gamay Rajit Kaayo, 
Portion lang di ay nik ang nasulat sa Biblia o sa mga ebanghelyo. Did we have time? Did we have enough time to read the Gospels? When only John said that it is only a portion of the entirety of the life of Jesus. It is another message for this, my dear brothers and sisters. Can we see Christ more deeply? Even if we can't read the Bible or the Gospel. And how do we see Christ deeply in our lives? We seek Him on the many things that He has blessed us. These are testimonies. These are God's work in our lives. Usahay dili na makita. And I hope, my dear brothers and sisters, at this very last, in the conclusion of the Gospel of John, we are able to reflect on two things. On how God would defend you. On how God would protect you. And at the same time, on how God would bless you. Just ask how John was blessed by Jesus. And second, did we see or do we have time, enough time, to read the portion of the life of Jesus in the Gospel? Kinilang nga mga pangutana. Amen. Please all rise. Jesus, who himself came to people as a servant in obedience to his Father, wants us to keep God's in interest above all things. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may be true servants, active, acting with the same concern that Christ showed to his apostles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders may be faithful to their commitments and fulfill their duties in the spirit of love and service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those who experience difficulties may receive strength from the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may realize that their suffering undertaken in union with Christ can be turned into blessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That deceased relatives and friends may enjoy the peace in God's eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Father, your Son, place your interests above all else, even to the extent of suffering for humankind. Grant that we may always honor Him by making Him most important in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Say my prayer, we just did say the Lord's love it say the lives. Oh, Father, we are yours. We are yours. Yours as we stand at the table, you said. Yours as sweet. Side of your life is yet. We are yours, we are yours. Say the bread we ask it, say the hearts. We love it, say our lives. Oh, Father, we are yours, we are yours. As we stand at the table, you said, Yours as sweet as the bread our hearts can't forget. We are the sign of your life, yes, yet. We are yours, we are yours. 
said up when we asked you to say the words We love you to say our lives Oh Father we are yours We are yours Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for the good and the good of all His holy church. May the Holy Spirit coming near, we pray, O Lord, prepare our minds for the divine sacrament, since the Spirit Himself is the remission of all sins, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times, to so acclaim you, O Lord, but in the time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us, and ever pleads our cause before you. He is a sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sit it on their spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ascended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which I poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Who will proclaim the Lord and profess your resurrection until you come up? Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray 
that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gotten into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, also our Archbishop, his auxiliary bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Augustine, St. Monica, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, St. Pedro Calungson, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs within the life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace be grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For that is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear in your compassion our prayers, O Lord, that as we have been brought from things of the past to new mysteries, so with former ways left behind, may be made new in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael, Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. battle. Be our, our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the, by the power, power of God, cast into hell, hell Satan, Satan and all the evil spirits roaming around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Mary, Queen of Angels, pray for us. Holy Angels in Heaven, pray for us. Blessing of Religious Articles, let us pray. God, by His Word, all things are made holy. Pour out your blessing on these religious articles and symbols of devotion and faith. And grant that anyone who uses them in accordance with your will and your law, with the spirit of thanksgiving, may experience their power, health in body, and protection in soul, as you invoke your most holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Salve Regina. Regina Tali, le pare, alleluia. Regina, we will receive for dare, alleluia. Resorexi, secudexi, alleluia. Oh, my God. 
Santa Dei Genetrix Udini Fischamor Commissionibus Christi Orimus Omnipotensi Peterne Deus Qui Gloriosi Virginis Matris Maria Corpus in Animam Udini Un Fili Tui Habitaculum Ificium Mereretur Spiritus Sancto Coverante Peperasti Daut Cuius Commemoration Eleitamur e io spia intercessione ab instantibus manis, e la morda perpetua le veremur, per iundem Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Sama Luas, si Kristus na ala 